I'm Jonas Larson. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Pento. Pento was started with my co-founder Emil. He was studying computer science, so very much the technical part of the founding team. We had started a company back in Aarhus. We sold a part of and later left, and then we moved to San Francisco to start another company back in 2015. And one of the things that we had found extremely frustrating was something as basic as running payroll, so uh, paying our employees. We had a team in San Francisco and we had a team of engineers back in Europe, and we could see that paying our team members in the US was significantly easier, Whereas in Europe, it was still a lot of manual work. The only real option you had if you were not a payroll expert is to outsource this to an external provider. There's a general perception that payroll is just really, really, really complex. And it's not that it's super simple, but it's also not as complex as we make it to be. And I think we wanted to prove that and we wanted to make it clear that actually it's not as complex as the external providers will tell you that it is. And you can actually automate a lot of the process and, and you can make the process much more user friendly and actually make it an experience or make it something that doesn't feel super painful one week every month. With Pento, for a company of 500 people, 1,000 people, they can now make decisions in real time based on the output that they see in Pento instead of having to wait several days for that output to come back, which enables them to not only save a lot of time because they don't have to go back and forth all the time, but also make faster decisions because they can see the output right away instead of having to wait. Something like payroll, which if you compare it to many of the other sort of processes that every company has to run, hasn't been changed in many, many, many years. And you see great modern software being built for a lot of other things in a company. And you're starting to see people within these companies have very high expectations for software and what they're spending their time on practically. I think our big ambition is to take this process and give the companies that have to deal with this process today a similar level of software or, of, or experience that they, they get from other tools that they're using today. Starting a software company is much easier today than it was 10 years ago. What hasn't changed is the grit and determination that has to go into starting that company. Part of becoming an entrepreneur or like starting your own company is definitely the passion for like the excitement about starting something and seeing it grow and like continuing to build. But I think another part of it is also realizing that it is easier to get started than most people think. You know, my dad started his own company, but I think also joining a university that encouraged students to start their own companies. It was definitely something that was talked about as if it was exciting and, and something that they wanted to, to support. And I think that definitely made it easier to take the jump. The things that inspire me are people who continue to build, continue to be curious. Things that used to be smaller in terms of scale. It could be a very small company or a person who had a really strong belief in something that at the time no one really believed in or really was struggling. And then seeing that grow against those odds. When we met GC, we were fortunate to be in a position where we had quite a lot of interest from other funds too. What GC and, and Adam in particular really managed to do well was create a sense of a sense of being part of the team very, very quickly. One of the first things that Adam did was introduce me to most of the other partners in the GC team. You don't just get access to Adam who's gonna sit on your board, you get access to the entire partnership and everyone on the partnership. And it's not just a thing they say to win the deal, they're all willing to, to jump on a call with you with short notice and bring their different perspectives to the different problems and the different challenges that appear along the way. 